Amy and Tim, the two of you fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other, and you've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every day brighter. I would just encourage the two of you just to think back on your story, your love story that has brought you here today. And I'm sure the two of you remember that first meeting, becoming friends and falling in love and now standing here together just uh, celebrating your love to one another. In preparing for today, I started thinking about when I first heard of Tim. And I actually found a letter that Amy wrote me. It said, I met this guy Tim, and he's the nicest, cutest, sweetest person ever, and I'm in love with him. And it was like a week after she met him. So I was a little concerned. Since you've been in Amy's life, she's, look at, she's doing it right now. She smiles 100 times more. She didn't really smile at all before Tim, so that's a plus. She laughs 100 times harder, and she loves you 100 times more than the day she met you, which is a lot, because she loves you, like, right away. Growing up, Tim and I didn't talk about girls too much. I think this was mainly because growing up, Tim and I didn't talk to too many girls. We weren't exactly ladies' men. But as we got older, I could tell that Tim really wanted to have a relationship where he could love and care for someone and have that person love and care for him. I can truly say that Tim has found that relationship with Amy. As a couple, these two are made for each other. Amy is the early riser, energetic and organized one and Tim is the sleep-in, voice of reason, yes honey, right away honey one. <laughs> Tim, I love that you know what you want in life and you go out and get it. Unlike me, you aren't peer pressured into doing things. No one can tell you what to do, except for Amy. <laughs> Amy, you are one very lucky girl. I know that Tim will make you the most loyal and caring husband that ever lived. I'd like everyone to raise their glass and cheers the beautiful bride and groom. <laughs> Amy, Amy, Amy. I felt like you were my daughter from the first day we met. Your sense of humor and easygoing manner meant there was no ice-breaking period. You're strong, confident, and loving. And Amy, you make any room you're in a better place. <clears throat> okay. We knew you were the one for Tim early on, when the two of you used to chase each other in circles around our foyer, giggling uncontrollably. <laughs> All the time, that's crazy. But you nailed it when you brought the beer funnel to our beach vacation in North Carolina. <laughs> I thought, the universe is unfolding as it should, and Tim, you gotta marry that girl. For, uh, for Tim and Mike's 19th birthday, I offered to take them on any father and son trip that they wanted. So I remember thinking, Tim really likes music, so he's probably going to pick a concert in New York or L.A. or something. But no, he wanted to participate in the World of Warcraft video game tournament in Boca Raton, Florida. <laughs> you, you can imagine my thrill. Uh, Tim is known to be uh, forgetful at times with minor things like 
car keys and wallets, but he never forgets to be kind and generous and to be a great son. Tim, your mom and I are very proud of the confident and principled man you've become, and we're overjoyed to see how happy you and Amy are together. Can you please raise your glass and toast the bride and groom? I'd like to begin by saying what a handsome couple Amy and Tim make. Amy, you look absolutely stunning. So let me tell you a few things about Amy that you may not have known. Amy was born November 13th, 1989. Laura and I were very excited with the prospect of being new parents with our first child. So as Amy prepared for high school, she was absolutely beside herself as she didn't have a cell phone. She went on about this endlessly until she finally got one. Well, in a few weeks, a large brown envelope came in the mail. It was the first invoice for Amy's phone. No word of a lie, 120 pages long. So as a result of that cell phone, Amy began to work part-time. She worked at a number of different jobs, but most importantly, she worked at Oakville Executive Golf Course, where she met Tim. A short while after starting at the golf course, we began hearing about this young, good-looking guy that also worked there. We never did get a chance to meet that guy, but we did actually end up meeting Tim. So, it worked out well. So, Tim, <laughs> let me officially welcome you to the family, although it's not really necessary to say that, as I would say, Tim has been part of this family essentially since day one. He wasted no time in fitting in with the entire family, which is a direct reflection of his personality, good nature, and generosity. Uh, so, Tim, by marrying my only daughter, you now have the position, or hold the position, of favorite son-in-law. I, too, hold this position, and with this position comes great responsibility, the most important of which is to take great care of my little girl. May the two of you always find peace in your home, and may you always be faithful to one another. May you always stay flexible enough to listen and consider each other's opinion. May you always find ways to strengthen your bond with one another. And may you be fully aware that one person is unable to fill all the needs of the other. May the two of you continue to discover similar interests. And may you appreciate each other's good qualities and always focus on the positive. May your affection for one another never cease, but instead continue to grow, becoming a deeper, richer, and never-ending love. Amy and Tim today in front of your family and friends here today, the two of you have declared your vows to one another, and you have also confirmed your promises just by the joining of hands and the exchange of rings here today. Therefore, by the authority given me by this province, I pronounce that you are now husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride and we'll celebrate with you.